On this Gun Violence Awareness Day, thousands of people across the country went on the streets calling for stricter gun control laws on the federal level. Many wonder why other countries have been able to get new gun laws passed in the wake of mass shootings, while the U.S. faces legislative gridlock. CBS 8's Richard Allen is live in the newsroom with a closer look at gun reform in other nations which have suffered similar tragedies. Richard? And Carlo and Jesse, one of those countries which took swift action in the wake of a mass shooting is Australia, where 35 people were killed in Tasmania in 1996. Within 12 days of that horrific event, bipartisan gun reform was passed on a national level, including a ban on semi-automatic long guns. From the East Coast, nobody's immune from gun violence. To the West, supporters of stricter gun control laws nationwide wore orange to mark Gun Violence Awareness Day, which has even more poignancy in the wake of the recent mass shootings in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Uvalde, Texas, and Buffalo, New York. Let's be really clear, this this is a uniquely American tragedy. Assemblymember Cotty Petri Norris represents Orange County, rocked last month by the mass shooting at Geneva Presbyterian Church, where Dr. John Chang was killed. We do not see this anywhere around the world, and that's why we know. We know that there are answers. Those answers come from new laws adopted by other nations in response to this uptick in violence. We need less gun violence. In Canada, where a mass shooting in 2020 left 22 people dead, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is taking action, announcing a new proposal to place a freeze on importing, buying, or selling handguns, as well as a gun buyback program on military-style weapons. Canadians certainly don't need assault-style weapons that were designed to kill the largest number of people in the shortest amount of time. New Zealand has also taken the lead on gun control after 51 people were killed at two Christchurch mosques by a white supremacist gunman. It was clear that the New Zealand public expected uh, its politicians to find solutions and quickly. Less than a month after that horrific event, New Zealand's lawmakers passed a nationwide ban on semi-automatic weapons and assault rifles. They were practical steps that we believed were necessary and that would make a difference. And so we made them. And we really need to change a conversation. San Diego gun control activist Wendy Wheatcroft says that here in the U.S., the powerful gun lobby has made it difficult to change laws on the federal level. We must be supporting candidates who are not backed by the gun lobby. We need to do our research and we really need to be marching to the ballot box in November. And here in the U.S., bipartisan negotiations on gun control are continuing in Congress, including a House vote on red flag laws expected next week. We'll have more on the latest from Capitol Hill in our next half hour. Carlo and Jesse. All right, Richard, thank you.